All right, I'm back here on the Volvo Penta AQ125B. Um, this is in an 85 Bayliner Trophy. And the problem that I currently have is the engine will start, but then it'll die right away. And it floods out. So I cleaned the carburetor up. And there you can see the carburetor. Um, new gaskets, uh, new needle valve, new idle jet, clean it up real good. Everything seems to be okay, um, but I'm no carburetor expert, so who knows. Uh, put the carburetor back on, start the boat, it'll run for about five seconds and die. And then uh, it's flooded, and by flooded I mean the plugs are wet and there's a pool of fuel down here laying down here in the intake manifold um, i can clean all that fuel out pull the plugs out dry them off put it back in start it for five seconds and do the same thing so uh i put all new electronics on this boat and that didn't seem to help so what I'm doing now is a compression test and I've already tested three cylinders um, I have 190 190 170 as far as compression so this is my last cylinder I'm getting ready to test uh, compression test is pretty easy. Compression gauge. Um, I bought mine at uh, AutoZone. I think it was 30 bucks. But you can rent these from AutoZone uh, at no cost if you return them. Uh, they're pretty simple. You just take the proper fitting and screw it into the spark plug hole. And then you turn the engine over. And when you do this, I'm using a little. Uh, handheld starter here. Um, I've disconnected the coil wire from the top of the coil and I've long since disconnected the fuel line so there's no fuel at all in that carburetor. Uh, no fuel in the engine at all. It's not getting fuel and it's not getting spark. So I just turn it over and see what kind of compression I got. So you want to turn it over until the needle stops turn, stops going up and then you can see, man that's hard to see if the flashlight shining in there. I'm at about 180, a little under 180 on this cylinder. So I believe the compression is supposed to be 190. I would think that anything over 160 would be acceptable as far as compression. Um, especially considering this boat sat for about 10 years uh, without being run. Um, I would think that those are pretty good uh, compression readings. Um, there's still a possibility I could have an intake valve uh, that's malfunctioning that could be causing my problem. Um, I'd have to use a vacuum uh, tester to test that which I don't have, uh, but I may go get one just to rule it out. So um, I ruled out compression. Um, with my next steps, uh, I'm gonna test the uh, fuel pressure uh, coming from the fuel pump down here on the engine. So this runs right here into the fuel pump. I'm going to test that pressure up to the carburetor. Um, but the problem I'm having would suggest that uh, that pressure is too high, which doesn't seem like something that would happen. You know, if fuel pump goes bad, I think you'd lose pressure. Um, not gain pressure, but I guess anything's possible. It's, it's worth checking out. Um, if that doesn't work, I, I did buy a hot spark um, electronic ignition I'm going to put in. 
Uh, I'm going to verify the timing is correct. Uh, that's something I haven't really looked into. Um, so there's the timing marks. Uh, see if I can get you a shot of the timing marks down here. So they're right there in the shadow of the light. Try to come over here. This is right there. The timing marks. There should be a mark on this uh, pulley here, or harmonic balancer, whatever you want to call it. Um, I can line up and check the timing and make sure that's correct. Um, aside from that, uh, new, igni new ignition and uh, make sure the timing's good. Uh, make sure the fuel pump's good. And if that doesn't take care of it. I'm gonna have to buy a new carburetor because although I I clean that one up, uh, it just doesn't seem to be doing a good job of blending the fuel and the air. Uh, I think I'm getting too much fuel, not enough air, and I don't know. The carburetor it, it could just be shot, but new carburetor is expensive, so that's my last option. Hopefully we won't get to that. Hopefully the new electronics and the ignition and the make sure the timing's correct and and it'll run. But we'll see.